yes, Atlantic Ocean to my left. We crossed all of Panama, guys. Pacific yesterday at Pipas Beach, and now the Atlantic Ocean. There has to be a place where we can have a Balboa and look at the water. There has to be. Good morning. I'm in Anton Valley, Panama. I'll show you in a map. And I, I have to show you this place I'm staying. Um, there's heavy, heavy wind here, but it's just amazing. So I'm not going to talk too much. I'll just show you uh, the bike. I'm going to show you the hotel and a natural river pool that they made. Just the property, but I won't talk too much because it's just going to be wind noise. So I'm going to insert the music now. Thanks for watching everybody. Next stop, Portobelo, the Panama Canal, Gamboa. A lot, a lot to cover today, so let's go. Excellent stay in Valle Anton. Now we must continue. Gamboa, Palermo, or Portobelo, Portobelo, and beyond. Look at this view, guys. This is a crater. I guess the whole village is a crater of a volcano, not, not just this hotel. So German, let's go check out the town before we leave and, uh, and see what it's all about. See what we missed last night by not going. <laughs> German wanted to go party last night in the town of Anton. But uh, me, I just need a cigar. 10 bal balboas and I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, we need to take a picture, right? Yeah, stay, stay right there. I got a shot of you. Wow, good eye, German. Okay, the reason for this picture is that, what's it called again? The, 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 La India Dormida, the sleeping Indian woman, uh, female. And you can see right up there her face. She's looking upright. She's laying on her back. So you see her, her forehead, her eyes, her nose, her mouth, and then goes down her neck, and then her breasts. And then I guess we have to make up the rest. El Macho. That's where I grew up, uh, German. The temperature is incredibly different from down in the sea level on the coast. And uh, last night we slept with the windows wide open an incredible breeze, like a perfect, I don't know, maybe 70 degrees or 60s. German just checked on his Stark Enterprises uh, watch, wristwatch. <laughs> the temperature is 79 with a high of what? High of 81 here in the Valle Anton, yeah. And the minimum tonight is 68. That's what it was last night probably, yeah. I think I can see the coast over there. Yeah, to the right, the Pacific, I can see it. The first car that... Uh, the first car that stopped and let us pass them. Normally, uh, the drivers are not very friendly. I could be wrong, but uh, that's the first one out of the whole trip that let us pass, or at least was respectful to motorcycles. German, what was the elevation yesterday? Okay. Valle Anton, 2,800 feet above sea level. Diego, we stopped here at this junkyard and there's a bunch of uh, junk cars in the back with their tags on them. And I'm sure we could get some collector tags here, but they're closed.
Holy shit. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, boy. Carretera Madden. And there's a national park here. I can't read it on the GPS right now, but that's why it's so green. Okay, we should take a picture here. Okay, German, it looks like uh, we can't, we've escaped the rain in long enough. Rain on the Panama Canal. Madden Dam, Panama Outdoor Adventures. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And let's see what we uh, film here. I've never been here. Have you been here uh, before? Okay. Bienvenido a la represa Madden. Peligro no entre. And you can see where we crossed and the water coming down now. So it must be a hydroelectric dam. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, Google, uh, Google Madden Dam. Okay, look at this exhaust system on the, on the Nivia Rosa. Oh yeah, look at them all there, yeah. Thirty-three kilometers to Porto Velo. I don't know this little town's name, but a lot of traffic, a lot of people. And we're looking for lunch. Yes, Atlantic Ocean to my left. We crossed all of Panama, guys. Pacific yesterday at Pipas Beach, and now the Atlantic Ocean. There has to be a place where we can have a Balboa and look at the water, there has to be. See, I'm, I'm looking at my GPS and it says, up ahead, we're gonna we're gonna hug the water again at Via Via Portobello. German, you know what rain is? It's the ocean the ocean attacking from above. Okay, Atlantic Ocean again on my left. We just need that perfect little bar restaurant overlooking that we can stop and get out of the rain. Beautiful. Yeah. What what is Portobello? A, a bigger town or something or Okay. Yeah, there has to be something there. Yes, this is the one. <laughs>
octopus, pulpo. Oh. I call it tostones. What do they call it here? Uh, Patacones. Patacon. Patacon. A little salad. Same thing. Comida costeña. Yeah. 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 No, yo no quería más. No. Sí. No. <laughs> Time to go. Downtown Portobello. I don't know if it's downtown or the main part. This is just before Portobello, this little restaurant. It seemed more authentic and the food was good. We had octopus. And now we need to see Portobello now that we're close by. And then we're going to head back and do Miraflores, Panama Canal. It's raining, so let's see. Let's see how the roads are. Let's see how, if we can make everything on time. I know, I know Portobello's that way, so let's just go and then, and, and then I'll put it on the map, uh, whatever we need. Let me put on my beats. Depeche mode. You know what I'm saying? You got that, I have that Depeche mode feel right now. Whenever you get stressful text messages while you're on vacation, you put a little Depeche mode and you're, uh, you're good to go. And, uh, he splash you? <laughs> oh yeah, brand new man. A little octopus, a couple Balboas. I'm ready for another 50 kilometers. <laughs> yes, beautiful. This part up here is beautiful. The water's calm, there's islands out there. Ah, mira, that's so cool, see? Very cool. Yep. Yeah, I think I'm turning my head enough. There's uh, like an old Spanish fort here. Cannons and all. Very, very cool looking. Yeah. Yes, yes. Very interesting. Padrillada Latino. German. Viva Jesus Nazareño. Ya lo tengo. Gamboa ya lo tengo ya. A mí me pone dos horas. Acuérdate que tuyo, el teléfono tuyo es Metro PCS. Dale gracias a Dios que a, a la iglesia esta que te dio señal. <ríe> ya estamos. Mira para esta gente. <ríe> ¿Para dónde van? ¿Vienen de Francia? Sí. ¿Y, ¿Y para De Miami. Miami, ah, Los Ángeles, uh, los, los Estados Unidos. Sí, Estados... sí. Sí, eh, los Estados Unidos. ¿no? Correcto. ¿Para dónde van? ¿Para, para, para Sudamérica? Ah, Colombia. Mañana voy a, a Puerto Lindo para ir a Colombia. Qué bueno, güey. No, eh, ya regresamos por avión a Miami. Y dejamos la moto y, y después vinimos otra vez. Ah, es una moto de aquí. Esta es mía, el, esa es alquilada. Rental. Bye. Así mismo encontré yo, se lo iba a decir, pero no sé. En, en Salamanca, el señor que vino de Alemania. De Alemania a Sevilla en bicicleta. Tengo ganas de hacer un asadito con, con uh, portobello mushrooms. Con aceite de oliva, como nos enseñó Camilo, ¿te acuerdas? The portobello mushroom was actually created here. Yeah, yep. It all started right here. Here's here's the fort again on the right. I'll, I'll look for the name of this. 
If anybody knows, leave a comment below. But it's very cool. Definitely a Spanish fort. By the way, those little uh, turrets are the, whatever they're called, the little corners of the fort. Yeah, if we had more time here, there's a bunch of islands all over here, and, and I'm sure these boats will take you, maybe spend a day on the beach. Boa to the right. Let's see if we can have a, a Balboa in Gamboa. <laughs> I, have to, I have a mission here, if I find it. Yep. We have to find the Gamboa Iglesia and give Carmelita $20.